This video is divided into three parts. E. Tutorial on wool color mixing. R. Hair transplantation teaching. C. Overall production process of pink bear. This is not only a handiwork, but also an expression of your love for life. I wish you feel warmth and joy in your creation. Wool color mixing tutorial. A method of mixing different color sand interweaving them together. By superimposing them to produce new colors. We can control the amount of wool L with different colors and superimpose different colors. Let's explain the color mixing method. First, arrange the tops into sheets with uniform thickness. Press the edges with your thumb and pull them to both sides to pull out uniform sheets of tops. Then, in the same way, take wool of other colors and stack wool of different colors together. Tile with your thumb on both sides. Pull evenly and force. And stack repeatedly until the two colors are completely integrated. Attention! Don't pull in strips. If the tops are not spread and pulled, the wall will mix unevenly and can't be fully integrated. Let's take a color of this cat's head as an example to explain the color mixing. Before mixing colors, Determine the main color. The main color wall is used the most, and other colors are added in a small amount. The method of hair picking and color mixing is the same as explained before. After the wall is mixed, compare it with your cat color. If not, add wall for color adjustment. Cat hair is not a single color composition. Only mixed colors can make cats look more stereoscopic and vivid. Have you learned? Come and be a cute cat. Hair transplantation teaching. First, based on the pattern of a kitten's fur, sketch an approximate shape on the base embryo. Then, evenly lay out the wall. Slightly shorter and thinner. In the appropriate position according to the cat's coloration, starting from the center line of the wall and poking it in place, flip the wall to one side. Poke it along the edge to secure it firmly. After poking, smooth the wall, and then proceed with the next layer. Following the same process, for the second layer, you don't need it to be too close to a first layer, approximately 0.8 to a centimeter apart. Just like before. Start poking from the center line of the wall. Then flip it over to secure it. You can check the distance between the two layers of wool after completing this large area of color poking. Now start to demonstrate the pattern part. In fact, it is not difficult to intersperse several colors. Refer to the patterns we painted. Choose the appropriate colors. Poke the light colored parts first. And then poke the dark colored patterns with dark hairs. According to the thickness of the pattern, take a small strip of wool, connect with the previous light color part, and then select the appropriate color according to the pattern to continue poking. The most difficult part of a cat's head is the pattern. As long as you have enough patience, and interspersed with color pokes according to the pattern, you will basically succeed more than half. In this way, the first layer of hair planting is completed, and then the next layer of hair planting is repeated. The hair planting on the side part can be poked obliquely according to the hair direction, and the poking angle should be according to the radian and direction of the cat's face. So the hair planting will be more natural and realistic. In order to make the color connection more natural, two different colors can be appropriately mixed as transition colors. Next. Let's talk about how to trim wool. Find an old toothbrush. Comb it first, and then cut it along the arc of the head with scissors. Don't cut it too short at first. Cutting too short will make the cat's head look flat and the hair will not look smooth enough. Then cut it flat along the shape of the head to make the wool more layered. In this way, the scissors are slowly trimmed flat against the head. Then comb with the wool, and then trimmed slowly so that the wall can be evenly exposed when trimming. Don't cut too much at once, but do it less than many times 
trim while combing according to the direction of hair, and seeing what can be properly made according to the width of pattern to make the pattern clearer. Have you learned? Go on to the next layer of wool. Thank you.